Hello everybody, Hello Check here, or Peekaboo, however you want to call me, I don't really care. I'm trying to decide which name I want to keep. But anyway, I'm back with another tutorial. This one's going to be a little different. It may turn out to be a series I don't know yet. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. So, this one's going to be... Um, Sort of like a life simplifier type thing. Um, it may be more hassle, I don't know. It depends on your preference. But anyway, if you know any, um, like the, uh, sorry, I'm just looking for this. Anyway, if you know that uh, smelteries, you have to right click the spigot, let it pour, and they can do it and then you just get it sucked out with a thing or you can use one of these clocks and what that does is it pulses it for a little bit and I don't think it quite completes the full pour maybe it does um, but I'm gonna make a fancier version probably more difficult but I decided I'd make it anyhow so what this is gonna do is it's gonna uh, send that redstone signal to the spigot, pour it for a couple seconds, let it cool off, and then do it. And then we're going to implement more fancy stuff to make it fancy, basically. And we're going to print that over on the monitor. You don't need one this big, I'm just doing it so you can easily see it. But anyway, enough with the rambly junk that no one cares about. Let's get into it. Oh, also, uh, this is the Direwolf 20 pack from the FTB launcher, if anyone wants to know. So we're just going to name our program pour, and we're going to do a simple while true do loop. And that will uh, make the code inside it run until it is uh, considered false, which we're going to implement. So our, yeah, here's our main code. So we're going to do rs.setoutput, and then bottom. And make sure the app output is capitalized. That is very important. And then true. And then we're going to sleep to. Oh, typo. I'm making a lot of them today. And I found another one. Yeah, always check your code for typos. Anyway, rs.set output bottom comma, false, and then we're going to do sleep 3. So what this is going to do is going to turn on the redstone signal, it will stay on for 2 seconds, allowing this to completely fill up, then it will set it to false, and wait 3 seconds before it runs that loop again. And the reason that 3 seconds is there is to let the item cool, otherwise it would mess the flow up. And then we're going to add an if statement. So if rs.get input, make sure input is capitalized, um, voice crack, top, comma, true. And that will, if there's a redstone signal on the top, it will run the code inside this. And then we're just going to put a simple break. There we go. And I'm lining everything up so it looks fancy, but you don't have to. Then we're going to do end. And then, and again, save, exit, and hopefully I didn't make any typos. But of course I did. So we're going to do, if uh, I can easily see by typo, the if statement needs a then at the end. So now we should be golden. And pour. As you can see, it is working. And I will paste in the code uh, for this simple thing right here. And if you flick the switch, you can see it terminates the program and the cursor is blinking again. And before you start the program, you want to set the lever to off again. So I will paste in, put, and then pour. So the RZ code, I will put it on screen. Uh, one second. And I will, or many seconds in that case. And I will get my notepad up and copy the code for you guys. And I keep track of these myself. So, pour, and then MB 
H or H, however you say it. DB5. Okay, that's the first one. I will put another one um, at the end. So, what we're going to do now is I'll just clear it. And for edit, pour it again. Now, this is all you need. Like, literally, you only need that. I'm just going to make it fancier. So, yes. Anyway, I forget. Let's see. Okay. So, add in some code. So, we're going to do turn.clear, and that will clear all the text and make it a nice clean slate. Then, we're going to do turn.set cursor. Cursor. And then pause. Make sure that is capitalized how I have it, and then your thing. And that's what you need to do. And now you want to tab in, write. Um, I think print print will work, but it's more confusing and doesn't work as good, I think. So write and then ingot. Um, ingot pouring. Dot dot. We want to go down to that. Sleep. Right, like that, and then ingot, cast it, and cool. And you want to make sure you have those on the ends. I forgot them last time. And then we're going to do right, ingot. Finished. And that's it. And then we're going to go down here. And we're just going to add a simple right. And then program terminated to make it sound cool. And to reference to terminator. So that is basically it. Let's run it. Hopefully, I didn't make any typos. And to run it now, you want to do monitor uh, left because that's what side it is on. Uh, you'll want to put what side yours is on, and then the name of the program, and that will be pour and pour and get pouring and get casted and cooling, and then okay. So little problem there. It pour. And then you want to sleep. Oops. You want to sleep for one up here, just so it can completely do it. And you want to sleep for two. And let's add a sleep two here. And another sleep down here. I'm just adding these. It will make it slightly slower by a few seconds. Exit and monitor left pour. And he get finished and then yeah. So what I have to do now is I think a slash n to do this correctly. That should make it a new line, I think. There we go, ingot pouring, ingot casting and cooling, and ingot finished. And let's flip this. Program terminated. So, yeah. And one thing we want to do yet is edit, and then once it's done, we'll sleep for two. Then we'll turn dot clear, and that will just make it uh, clear the monitor off, just to make it fancy and not look crap. So ingot pouring, ingot casting and cooling, and ingot finished, and then program terminated because I have the lever on. And as you can see, it went out. I'm just gonna change the screen size to see how well it works. Ingot pouring. Cast and cooling. Finished. 
and then program terminated. So yeah, that's basically all you need to do. Um, I will be doing some other tutorials. Oops. I didn't run it right. There we go. So I will be doing some other tutorials if you want me to, like how to set the color of text and like the size and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave some feedback in the comments below or by hitting the like or dislike button, whichever you thought uh, made a difference. And yeah, I look forward to seeing your take on this. And oops, I almost forgot. Let's terminate that. Okay. And I'm going to do paste bin put core. And there you go. That is the code you want for the finished version. If you just want the simplified version, you can use right away without needing monitors. Well, this will work without a monitor, but if you want it to be fancy, you can get this code. And, yeah. Also, the other one will be slightly faster, but, you know, it doesn't, it's only like a few seconds different, so it doesn't matter that much. So anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. That's uh, how many times I said that. But yeah, I look forward to making another video, and I'll talk to you later. This is Heller, signing out.